God bless you. We will be reading Ezekiel chapters 14 through 16 today. We read the word of the Lord, honoring the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me and sat before me, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their heart and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at all by them? Therefore speak unto them, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Every man of the house of Israel that setteth up his idols in his heart, and putteth, putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and cometh to the prophet, I the Lord will answer him, that cometh according to the multitude of his idols, that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart, because they are all estranged from me through their idols. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations. <clears throat> For every one of the house of Israel, or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separateth himself from me, and setteth up his idols in his heart, and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself, and I will set my face against that man, and I will make him a sign and a proverb, and I will cut him off from the midst of my people. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, and if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel." And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. That the house of Israel may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people, and I may be their God, saith the Lord God. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it, and will break the staff of the breadth thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. If I cause noisome beasts to pass through the land, and they spoil it, so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beasts, Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, they only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. Or if I bring a sword upon that land, and say, Sword, go through the land, so that I cut off men and beasts from it, through, though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Or if I spend a pestilence into that land, sorry, or if I send a pestilence into that land and pour out my fury upon it in blood to cut off from it man and beast, though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter, they shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. For thus saith the Lord God, how much more when I send my four sore judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword and the famine and the noisome beast. And the pestilence to cut off from it man and beast. Yet behold, therein shall be left a remnant that shall be brought forth, both sons and daughters. Behold, they shall come forth unto you, and ye shall see their way and their doings, and ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, even concerning all that I have brought upon it. And they shall comfort you when ye see their ways and their doings, and ye shall know that I have not done without cause. All that I have done in it, saith the Lord God. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is the vine tree more than any tree, or than a branch which is among the trees of the forest? Shall wood be taken thereof to do any work? Or will men take a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon? Behold, it is cast into the fire for fuel. The fire devoureth both the ends of it, and the midst of it is burned. It is, is it meat for any work? Behold, when it was whole, it was meat for no work. How much less shall it meet yet for any work, when the fire hath devoured it and it is burned? 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, as the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will set my face against them. They shall go out from one fire, and another fire shall devour them. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I set my face against them, and I will make the land desolate, because they have committed a trespass, saith the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know, their, to know her abominations, and say, Thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, and thy mother an Hittite. And as for thy nativity, in the day thou wast born, thy navel was not cut, neither wast thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou wast not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pitied thee to do any of these unto thee, to co have compassion upon thee. But thou wast cast out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou wast born. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. Yea, I said unto thee, when thou wast in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased and waxen great, and thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, and thine hair is grown, whereas thou wast naked and bare. Now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love. And I spread my skirt over thee, and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swear unto thee, and entered into a covenant with thee, saith the Lord God. And thou becamest mine. Then washed it, then washed I thee with water. Yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broidered work and shod thee with badgers of skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands, and a chain on thy neck, and I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thine ears, and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Thou wast, Thus wast thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen and silk and broidered work, Thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil, and thou wast exceeding beautiful, and thou didst prosper into a kingdom, and thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord God. <clears throat> but thou didst trust in thine own beauty, and playedest the harlot because of thy renown, and poured out thy fornications on every one that passed by. His it was. And of thy garments thou didst take, and deckedest thy high places with divers colors, and playedest the harlot thereupon. The like thing shall not come, neither shall it be so. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I have given thee, and madest to thyselves images of men, and didst commit whoredom with them, and tookest thy broidered garments, and coveredest them, and thou hast set mine oil and mine incense before them, my meat also which I gave thee, fine flour, and oil and honey wherewith I fed thee. Thou hast even set it before them for a sweet savor. And thus it was, said the Lord God. Moreover, thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters, whom thou hast borne unto me, and these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured. Is this of thy whoredoms a small matter, that thou hast slain my children? and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them? And in all thine abominations and thy whoredoms, thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth. 
when thou wast naked and bare and wast polluted in thy blood. And it came to pass after all thy wickedness, woe, woe unto thee, saith the Lord God, that thou hast also built unto thee an eminent place and hast made thee an high place in every street. Thou hast built thy high place at every head of the way and hast made thy beauty to be abhorred and hast opened thy feet to everyone that passed by. And multiply thy whoredoms. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, great of flesh. And hast increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore, I have stretched out my hand over thee. And have diminished thine ordinary food. And delivered thee unto the will of them that hate thee, the daughters of the Philistines, which are ashamed of thy lewd way. Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians, because thou wast unsatiable. Yea, though thou, thou hast played the harlot with them, and yet couldst not be satisfied. Thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Canaan, unto Chaldea, and yet thou wast not satisfied there herewith. How weak is thine heart, saith the Lord God, seeing thou doest all these things the work of an imperious, whorish woman, and that thou buildest thine eminent place in the head of every way, and makest thine high place in every street, and hast not been as an harlot, in that thou scornest higher, but as a wife that committeth adultery, which taketh strangers instead of her husband. They give gifts to all whores, but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers, and hirest them, that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. And the contrary is in thee from other women in thy whoredoms, whereas none followeth thee to commit whoredoms, and in that thou givest a reward, and no reward is given unto thee. Thou Therefore thou art contrary. Wherefore, O harlot, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, because thy filthiness was poured out, and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers, and with all the idols of thy abominations, and by the blood of thy children, with which thou didst give unto them. Behold, therefore, I will gather all thy lovers, with whom thou hast taken pleasure, and all them thou hast loved, with all them that thou hast hated, I will even gather them round about against thee, and will discover thy nakedness unto them, that they may see all thy nakedness. And I will judge thee as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. And I will give thee blood and fury and jealousy, and I will also give thee into their hand. And they shall throw down thine eminent place, and shall break down thy high places, they shall strip thee also of thy clothes, and shall take away thy fair jewels, and leave thee naked and bare. They shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones, and thrust thee through with their swords. And they shall burn thine houses with fire, and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women. And I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot, and thou also shalt give no hire any more. So will I make my fury toward thee to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from thee. And I will be quiet, and will be no more angry, because thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth hast fretted me in all these things. Behold, therefore, I also will recompense thy way upon mine head, saith the Lord God, and thou shalt not commit this lewdness above all thine abominations. Behold, everyone that useth proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, 
so was her daughter. Thou art thy mother's daughter that loatheth her husband and her children, and thou art the sister of thy sisters which loatheth their husbands and their children. Your mother was an Hittite, and your father an Amorite, and thine elder sister is Samaria, she and her daughters that dwell at thy left hand, and thy younger sister that dwelleth at thy right hand is Sodom and her daughters. Yet hast thou not walked after their ways, nor done after their abominations, but, as if that were very little thing, thou wast corrupted more than they in all thy ways. As I live, saith the Lord God, Sodom thy sister hath not done she nor her daughters as thou hast done, thou and thy daughters. Behold, this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom, pride, fullness of bread, and abundance of idleness was in her, and in her daughters neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy. And they were haughty and committed abomination before me. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. Neither hath Samaria committed half of thy sins, but thou hast multiplied thine abominations more than they, and hast justified thy sisters in all thine abominations which thou hast done. Thou also which hast judged thy sisters bear thine own shame for thy sins that thou hast committed more abominable than they. They are more righteous than thou. Yea, be thou confounded also, and bear thy shame, and that thou hast justified thy sisters. When I shall bring again their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters, and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, then will I bring again the captivity of thy captives in the midst of them, that thou mayest bear thine own shame, and mayest be confounded in all that thou hast done and that thou art a comfort unto them. When thy sister Sodom and her daughters shall return to their former estate, and Samaria and her daughters shall return to their former estate, then thou and thy daughter shall return to your former estate. For thy sister Sodom was not mentioned by the mouth in the day of thy pride. Before thy wickedness was discovered, as at the time of thy reproach of the daughters of Syria, and all that are round about her, the daughters of the Philistines which despise thee round about, Thou hast borne thy lewdness and thine abomination, saith the Lord. For thus saith the Lord God, I will even deal with thee as thou hast done, which hast despised the oath and breaking the covenant. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Then thou shalt remember thy ways and be ashamed. When thou shalt receive thy sisters, thine elder and thy younger, and I will give them unto thee for daughters, but not by thy covenant. And I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, that thou mayest remember and be confounded, and never open thy mouth any more because of thy shame, when I am pacified toward thee for all that thou hast done, saith the Lord God. That's it for today, guys. God bless you.